G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to Population Zero, where I'm back to continue my journey into this brand new planet to see how well we can try and survive. I've come back because I did say in episode one of this game that if you guys liked it or wanted to see more, then I would come back. So true to my word, here I am. We'll kind of take this game kind of episode by episode. If you guys keep watching, keep liking it, then I will keep making it. That's kind of the rule of YouTube after all. But right now, I've kind of come back in a couple of days after when I was here last. You can see there's like little campsites and stuff that people have been by popping up all over the place around here. Because after all, it is an open world with lots of other people all around the place. All trying to do their own thing and all trying to not turn into one of those big blue bastards, the big blue voids. It's just things everywhere. They're everywhere. They polluted this landscape so quickly. It was all nice and pristine when I was here last, and now look at it. Just the trash of mankind is scattered about. No good, no good. Well, I have to go back to the main town anyway to get a new quest. I have to go uh, re-get the quest to go find the void samples, or a new quest even. I'm not sure, but I'm going to take it a little slower this time, focus on uh, crafting some decent gear, trying to actually work our way through it, rather than just running balls first into combat and try my very best not to get my dick pitched in. So I have my quest back to get 10 void tissue samples. So what am I actually going to need to survive here? What's going to be better for me? My spear has seen some better days. So I really like a bone spear instead. I feel like that's like having that range is going to be good for my future survival. There's nothing really in here that's really tickling my giblets either. Nothing here is making me think that I'm going to have a pretty good shot if I get all this stuff. Bone sword. Actually, ooh. I don't know, how many how many bones does a bone sword take? Bone sword takes five bones. A spear took five as well. I feel like it was more than that last time. I don't know, I need to go and murder some things that have some bones in it, take them out of their bodies, and stick them on the end of a stick, and use that as a weapon against other things with bones. We just need to kind of look at all the stuff. Just need to get as many uh, resources as we can to kind of better my uh, future adventures. This is, what even, what even are these things? Why is there antennas everywhere? There's containers all over the place, all full of random stuff that I can't get. What is all this crap? I think the young Kvars are going to be the best option because I can actually block them a little bit. Oh, power attack doesn't do as much as I was hoping. We're going to try and dodge as much as possible. Doesn't do a whole lot of good. The hitboxes are still pretty skilly sometimes. That's not particularly great. Get your stamina back. There you go. Good boy. All right, just stab. Just stab then. Dodge, stab and dodge and stab and dodge. That's all you're going to do. Yeah, it's cool. And occasionally get a couple of good shots in. You're looking pretty worse for wear, buddy. Oh, that was sick. I pro that totally should have killed him. How are you supposed to kill this idiot without losing all your health? He is messing me up. I'm fighting a little young guy and he's already ruining me. I've got to find a better way of doing things. I told one bone out of that. How does that big giant bastard have one bloody bone in him? All right, new plan. I'm going to murder a bunch of yurts because I need their pelts. I could think going like a full power attack on the back of the head of a little fuzzy little uh, like caterpillar thing here. You'd think that would do more than what it does. I can't even kill these guys without taking a whole bunch of damage. I'm going to run on through, grab that, and just keep on running. Get out of here. Uh, it's, oh, I don't care about my bloody intoxication. I hate them so much. It's so... I mean, it's supposed to be the easiest enemies in the game. Look at them over there watching me. Watching, waiting for me to make one more mistake so they can ruin my life all over again. They're supposed to be the easy guys, and they're still messing me up. The only thing I can find in here that uh, offers some sort of protection at all is the desert suit, which offers uh, protection from the desert heats. Is that going to offer protection from uh, like little fuzzy things vomiting on me and the spiky tails of the Kavars? I don't particularly know, but sure, I'll activate it anyway. Why not? I'm gonna, uh, that's the only kind of thing I've got to hope on right now. Otherwise, I mean, do I go looting? Do I go, do I go find a building somewhere to go find some stuff? Can I break open these things and get inside it and take someone else's stuff? How do I, how do I get good things? Well, let's just start at the bottom, shall we? So I need, for a bone sword, I need five bones, uh, four Bractus resin, and four ropes. I make ropes by getting the um, weird little tendril thing, what are they called? Sangrula stalks. So I gotta find some of those as well. We should probably back down where I kind of started, back down over here. You can see all the places you need to go to find the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the void samples. I have to head over there anyway, so I may as well just run about, gather a couple of materials, try and put something together, and hopefully defend myself a little bit better from every fuzzy creature in the world that's apparently trying to kill me. This game is like Australia, the game. Everything you see that is moving, and even some of the things that are standing still, it's all trying to murder you. I'm going to try a new super brave and super bold tactic. I'm going to stand here and watch these things fall. 
fight until all of them die. Uh, that big uh, Kavar thing should murder all the little fuzzy tadpoles in pretty quick order. So I'm just going to sit over here and wait for them all to be dead, then run over and take their bodies for my own personal use. So you just do your thing, buddy. You can mess me up so easily and I have a big long pointy stick. I'm sure you can kill the kebab vomiting little tadpoles. You just do you, mate. I'll be happy to pick up the pieces later. If you're still alive with bees to get help left, I'll take care of you too. Oh, the Kavara is running away. There was one tadpole left over and he's scared of the four-legged bastard. That's all right, mate. I'm going to come on through. I'll gather all your friends. That's right. Look, I'm just, a, you know, like it with a lot oh, don't drink the water, you clown, for goodness sake. You know, when like the Black Death was cruising around, you had the guys roaming the streets, taking out the dead or even the just kind of dead that'd be hit over the back of the head with a club. That's me right now. I'm coming through, picking up all the dead bodies. I'll find a use for them. Oh, man, he got too brave. He got too brave and too bold, which I will never... Oh, he's getting eaten. Oh, he ate him. Oh, brutal. All right, never mind then. You, know you can have that one. You murdered the whole village. You can eat that one of them. I'll keep going on. Here's the Sangulia stalks that I needed and some flowers too. Take all of that. All right, what are they... What else do I need? I can make some rope now, which is pretty cool. I needed four of that craft. You, um, I need to make myself some armor, didn't I? Desert hood, what do you need? Uh, pressed in leather. Oh, I can make the leather out of the bodies of the yachts. Okay, it's all making sense now. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty keen for this fight to get over and done with already. I'm sick of standing around in the sun in my little, uh, Legionnaire's hat, waiting for these idiots to get done fighting. I know you're fighting for your lives and stuff, but at the moment, you're barely even fighting for my entertainment. This is no- if, if you guys were gladiators, I'd have given you the thumbs down a long time ago. Hurry up and get it done. Finish the job. Murder- oh, wow, he's actually pretty close to death, actually. The fuzzy tadpoles might actually win in the end, and if they don't win, I sure as hell will. If he's that low on health, I might be able to get in there and kill him nice and easily. Keep going, fuzzies. Do it. Do your job. No, nah, they didn't do it. Okay, never mind. I'll try my best. I'll try and avenge your honor. I'll try and do the thing that you couldn't do. Oh, he's so tough, though. He's so tough. Stabby, stabby. There you go. Good boy. All right. We're okay. I'll take you. There's some more bones and some more wheat. I'll gather all of the yuts up. Oh, man, I'm so hurt, though. I'm using the health packs that you get in, like, the, um, these things, the, uh, what do we call it? The small resource package? I'm using the health packs when I can find them. I'm going through them so quick. I can see up on the hill up there, another Kavar has murdered another family of Yutz. So I'm going to go up and take their bodies before he eats them all. Oh, no, he's still fighting a couple. Okay, that's fine. If you're going to keep fighting, I'll come in just clean up while you're distracted. Take all of you. Oh, no, oh, he's not distracted anymore. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry I'm taking your snacks. I, want, I need them for reasons, though. I need them more than you do. God, don't run out of stamina right now. I am bleeding, losing health every second. Oh, and he's still trying to eat me. Okay, this is bad. I'm going to die again. I don't want to die again. I came all this way. I have so much gubbins on me. Oh, stop bleeding. Oh, for God's sake. God, I didn't even know there was bleeding in this game. Apparently there is. My shitty blue suit is now glowing red with my own blood. How do I, how do I even fix that? How do I even, how do I even sort that shit out? How do, can I, can I make bandages at all? Is there like a thing that I missed that I can't make? No, just, no, just too bad. If you start bleeding, you're going to bleed out. You can't strap yourself up with some gillyweed or anything like that. Too bad. Just give yourself a puddle on the floor and lie in it. This is what I'm here for, though. The Bractus stuff. Come on, harvest that up. There we go. A couple of bits of resin. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I also don't want to be here for too long. I've got very little health, and there's nothing but badness hiding in the reeds over here. See what I mean? See what I mean? Yes, go and take a kip. Take a little nap. That's fine. I'm not here. I'm just going to come here for a little bit of Bractus. I'll be out of your hair or your little skeletal frame in no time. How many is that? That's 15. That should be enough for now. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Don't even worry about it, mates. Can I make anything interesting now? How can I make another stone spear? I don't care about that. Another stone knife. Uh, a hammer. Do I want a stone hammer? I don't even know what it does. I suppose maybe that will help me build stuff. I do need to build myself a... um. Oh, no, actually, because like all those boxes and stuff you see are all placed. So that's fine. Uh, got, got my rope. Got a pickaxe. Okay. Oh, I can make my, my pressed leather, though. My pressed leather goes into my suits. Hmm... Right, I might even... I can make four of those. How many do I need before I can start making some stuff out of it, though? So many! If that's the first level of armor and you need that much bloody yurt skin to make it, that's real harsh! That's so harsh! That's, like, inaccessibly harsh! So I did the math on how many pieces of leather I'm going to need to make the suit. I need 11. At the moment, I can only make four. How many does it take? So it takes three... Three bits of practice to make one. So if I need 11, that means I need freaking like, oh, what, 33 of them. All right, cool. And 33 yurt pelts as well. That's so, so many. All right, well, 
I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I don't really know. I'm gonna have to wait for the practice to respawn. I can't go too much further up the little coast here. This is the place where it spawns too. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting slightly closer. I need you to go away. Go eat a yurt or something. There's plenty of them around. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Don't be doing that to me. I'm so scared. If I die now, the more you die, you, like, if you die too many times, you turn into a void anyway. So I don't want that to happen to me. But like, I just need the materials. And I can't get any. This, I, mean, I must be doing something wrong. It can't be this difficult. The learning curve can't be this steep. This isn't even steep. This isn't even a curve. This is just a goddamn fuck you cliff. So the metal bar that I found at the very start actually does more damage than the stone spear does. Okay, sure, whatever. I will use the spear then if that's the way you want it to be. Oh no, go away. Oh, he was close to me. I was too busy faffing about my inventory and he got way too close for me. Still pop is my new best friend. Friendship with spear over. I wonder how, I wonder how much damage the sword is going to do then. All right, he's gone back for another lie down. Let's quickly run in. Grab ourselves another couple of pieces of practice from, from the shrubs. He'll never even see me. Yes, there we go. Reach out and grab it. 30, 30. That's, oh, okay, it's a full 30. I need uh, just three more. Come on, keep going. One, two, three. Oh, he's up. He's about to move. Run. Okay, what we got? 35. Only just enough to make myself the suits. If I make this this suit thing and I still get robber stomped by a Kavar, or even just like a young Kavar, or even just the stupid fuzzy tadpoles, I'm going to be really upset about that. How you doing, guys? Any of you guys feeling a little bit sick, a little bit ill, a little bit worse for wear? Like, if you just want to, like, pop over and kill over dead, I'd be pretty happy about it. I could lure that Kavar over here. In fact, I don't know if I need to lure the Kavar over here. He's going to do it for me. All right, well, you guys have fun. If you could all just go off like lambs to the slaughter, go and peck that guy in the nipples and see what happens. That'd be lovely. I just need your skins. Or maybe if you want to molt or something. That's something you could, like, learn how to do. Save your skin by shedding your skin. The Kavar's done a pretty good job of murdering all of them. He's looking pretty good, though. Yes, that, you're not going to eat that last one? Oh, there's one more you want to eat? All right, fair enough. I'll quickly run in and grab you and run away. 18 good pelts now. Yeah, there you go. You have that last one, buddy. You've earned yourself a snack. Where, where is everyone else? There's some more of this way. All I'm doing now is just running around, waiting for nature to murder itself for me to come in and pick up all the loot. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm not being a, brave boy, uh, being a brave boy, but I am being an alive boy, and that's different for me. The Yuts are making another attack. It's not going to go well for them, but it's going to go well for me. God, they're already all so cooked as well. They came in there with, like, no health. Didn't even bother going and having some healing. Now they went in there with their bleeding out of their ankles. And, oh, 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 God. He saw me. He saw me. He knows what I'm up to. He knows I'm trying to steal all these snacks. Come this way. Come this way. Look, come to where all your friends are. Come to where all the fuzzy little orange people are. Murder all of them. Murder the Yumpa Loopers. Leave me alone. I'm not far away from having all of my pelts now. Excuse me. Just coming through. Gather that one. 31. No, no. no. Stay away from him. Grab you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Grab that one and that one. There we go. 34. I think that should be all that I need right about now. Let's just get a little bit away from that little death fight over there. How are we looking? How are we looking now? Preston Leather. Make 11 of those. That's perfect. It'll take five and a half minutes to do that, but that's fine. Craft. Why? Oh, I need a press. What do you mean I need a press? How do I make a press? Do I a press at the bloody... Oh, I don't have to go back to the place, I assume. I assume there's a press at the place. Some sort of workbench for me to use. Oh, come on. If I need a workstation, let me make my own workstation. I made myself a hammer. And all it says is that uh, a basic weapon for surviving on Kepler. I'm not even sure if it's... Oh, it does a whole lot of damage, though. Let's put you there instead of the bloody stone spear that was completely worthless. Like that. I was assuming that the hammer would enable me to build some stuff. And if I press B, then it says you don't have any recipes. You can learn recipes by unlocking building technologies. Okay, that's fine. So let's go and... No, get out of that. Escape to Get out of that. Go into here. Building technologies. Technologies. Where's where's the building ones? Is it like down here? Is that where I start learning how to build some stuff? A clean carapace. Uh, what have we got? A metal plate. I don't see anything here that looks... Are you kidding me? Building... Unlocked an account level four. I hope that's not like a pay to win kind of thing. If I have to like pay money to up upgrade my account to be able to build stuff, that might not be too good. If that's the way that goes down, that might leave a pretty sour taste in my mouth. Now, I'm sure it's just like character level. Not sure why it said account level, but I'm sure it's just character level. If I level up my dude, I'm sure at some point I'll be able to build some cool stuff. Let's, uh, where am I? Uh, character stats. Where am I? Outgoing damage times one. Do I have a level in here somewhere? Damage 128. That's nice. That's what my hammer does. Water consumption, water level. I'm not really saying anything about uh, a character level at all or account level. 
Don't know. Yeah, here we go. So there's a workstation here, which means there's probably a, um, uh, what you call it, a press around here somewhere. There's someone's bonfire just chilling out there. There's a Muppet just upstairs. Oi, knackers, can you tell me where the... Oh, never mind. You, you showed me. Thank you very much. Here is the press. Huh. Okay. Use the press. Let me turn some, uh, some little fuzzy things. Use the distillery. You must have permission to use the distillery. Seriously, you got it. Ah, I can't do quests without armor and you're not letting me use the stuff to make my armor. Come on. Oh, okay. It's all right. So I'm going to track that quest. So basically it's like, if you want to use the press, you need to contribute to the, pr the press actually working and uh, go get these materials to make it work. Fortunately, I actually have most of that stuff already. There's a corpse just here. Do you have anything good on you? I cannot open this container. It's a corpse. Who's stopping me from opening a corpse? What, is going to reach up like a zombie and grab my hands and be like, uh, 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 not that fat bastard from Jurassic Park and stop me taking his gubbins? Nah, I don't buy that for a second, but sure, whatever. Okay, I can't open that corpse for some reason. My stone knife would uh, beg otherwise. But what I do need, and I need to go get myself a couple more stones, so three more stones is all I need, and then I can go use that press, which is like a bag of the armor. Just like, just a whole lot, you know? Like the opening quest was like, go talk to old Matty Potato over there at the um at the place and he'll give you a quest. He didn't say anything about like, go and like, look at the workstation so you can access them later. Come on. I mean, I know like, I'm a big fan of hand-holding, but just like, show me the general direction you want me to go in. There we go. The last stone. Grab that one. Quest is now ready to be done. You're going to drop all this shit off to old Matty back at the... Uh, I don't know what you call it. I know it's called the hub or something, but it needs a better name. It doesn't look like a hub. It looks like a thruster. It looks like a base. I don't know what you want to call it. You need to go back over to that big circular thing over there. Go and throw a bunch of just random resources at this guy's feet so he lets me use the press. I mean, sure, why not? You know, I don't have to go actually repair the, the 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 thing. It's already up in working order. I just need to buy permission to use it. Oi, knackers, get your nipples up in a twist all over this. Uh, I'm listening. What's going on here? I've already, I've already done all this. Okay, thanks. Oh no, it's right if I have to give it to, isn't it? Not that bad. All right, whatever. I spoke to you for no reason and I regret it. You've wasted some of my eardrums valuable time. Where are you? Here you are. Oi, right of, take these bad boys. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, can I use the press? Number two. So stone, sticks, cerulea. Uh, yes, that's enough. You can use the press whenever you want. Cheers, regular sized ears. Finally, after all this time, all this work and all this effort of not dying, which has been pretty impressive actually at the end of the day, I can finally use my press. Here we go. Press leather, make all of that. Still gonna take five and a half minutes. It's a lot of time, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I hope it's gonna be worth it in the end. So with the whole like seven days before everything gets reset kind of thing, it's uh, there's a there's a lot in here that you may just never get to. You know, like how do you, how do you get all the skill points you need to get all the way up to there? I mean, you know, like you research stuff and you get stuff that way. Even so, it's like that's a, that's a lot of points that you need to get up there. All right, activate that one. Let's suspend some points because why not? Bone hammer. I mean, the hammer's gonna be good for uh, good weapons. I want one on my side. What is this one? Press thick leather. I probably, I, mean, I assume it's going to be Kavar, uh, Kavar skin, Kavar for, uh, pelt will, will make that one for me. What's this one? Bone knife. No, I don't care about the knife. Leather armor. Okay, here we go. Before I actually make that stupid desert suit, maybe leather armor is going to be the way. How much is that going to take out of me? Where are you? Leather armor. Do you need somewhere? Leather chest piece. What do you need? Press thick leather. Well, okay, so I'm going to make myself... Man, this is going to be a whole thing. There's the 11, uh, the 11 press leather there. So I'm going to make myself my desert suit to try and hopefully set up against a Kavar a bit better. Murder a whole bunch of Kavars. What, like 33 Kavars, which is asking a lot of me to then go and make some actual armor. That's going to be tough. That's going to be real tough. But here we are anyway. I uh, don't need leather stuff. I just need the desert gloves. Pearl berries. All right, fair enough. I can go find some of those. It should just be just outside. At least I think I remember seeing them just outside. I need to put them in the workbench anyway as well. Man, there's just so many hoops you've got to jump through just to try and have a chance of surviving in this place. So this is kind of worrying. It says that these pearl berries grow on bushes near the oasis. But uh, I, uh, I can't get up there anymore. I could have sworn that was the oasis just up there. That's like kind of where I came from. But I, I can't, I can't get up. I, can, I don't know how to get up there and get the berries anymore. Maybe I'm just locked out of there forever now. Maybe I can never go back. I was there for two seconds and the game's like, yeah, no, nah, I should have taken it when you had the opportunity, mate. You should have taken those spines out of that echidna's asshole while you were there and had the opportunity. But no, instead, now you've been stumped up by a chlamydia koala and you got no option but to run around and try and lick a goanna. That's a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of Australian expressions all in one that you might probably have no idea what I'm saying, but whatever. Here we go. Let's go back down, see if we can find, uh, any sort of pearl bushes anywhere around here. 
I don't, I don't know where to go now. That's where they were, and that's where I went to get them. Oh, are these things? Is this the thing I need? Pearl berries. There they are. Okay, so just a little bit down from that waterfall up there is this little thing on the side here. All right, we're good. We're fine. Let's grab all these berries. All of them. I can't eat them, but I can use them. Oh, we have everything now. And this is going to be some stupid quest. Oh, I have to go and, like, murder an entire civilization of giant fang saber-toothed tigers before I can use the bloody workbench. This is some stupid uh, quest like that before I can use it. We have everything we need. We can finally get some armor. We can finally go and actually try and have a crack at this quest here we go workstation i can just use it straight up thank god for that okay i left all my uh, all my leather in the banker dude down here i put it inside him i don't know where his like the storage container is listen if you want nearby i don't know where you were storing all my leather dude but i might have to wash it before i use it workstation grab you there we go make all of this this is going to take five seconds to make that make you um oh i didn't make all the rope i didn't make all i have some sangrilli stalks left over, but not as many as I hoped. Damn it! No, we were so close. We had everything but that. Uh, make you. How many come back? Just another two. Damn it! Fine, I'll go get some more then. Damn it! Let's try this again. Workstation. Use you. I've already got my hood. So what's the next thing I need? Made that one. Desert jacket. Craft one of those. Desert gloves. Let's get all this on the go like that. And the last thing I need is desert boots. There we go. Got a whole setup all coming my way. Say, like, you oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good to get in a fight and not have to worry that I'm gonna get my arm torn out of its socket within three seconds. Everything here is so mean and toothy. I'm so glad I've finally got some sort of protection. It's not much, but hopefully it's gonna do a little bit. I do have this like sweet pioneer helmet I found somewhere. I'm not sure how I got that. I picked it off my body at some stage, I suppose. Just like a place all of this with that. Let's get rid of my stupid little spaceship clothes. It's so weird. You, know, you come down to the spaceship, but you gotta figure out how to put a stone on a twig. You gotta stare at a twig on the side of the road and go, hmm, I wonder what that thing is. You can't just figure it out on your own some. How are we looking now? How are we looking now? Oh, now we're looking good. Look at me. Look at me and my bad self. I'm ready to go. All right, one uh, one small problem with wearing my new sweet clothes is that now I am slower than a snail crawling up a hill. I am really not booking it at all anymore. Even when I'm sprinting and burning through my stamina rather quickly, I'm still not moving very fast at all. If I die, I don't sprint, but I just go on the casual jog. Look at how slow I'm cruising around. Look at that. I'm really not setting any pace records, am I? I am no Usain Bolt. Oh, man, it's going to take me ages to get over there. But I'm heading back over to this area here where I've died before. I need to go find the rest of my uh, my quest, which is in here, which is the... Not the toxicity, not the cocoon. Where is it? This one? That's the one. Track quest. I've got two of those samples back at the bank. So I need eight more. Let's head over, find some bodies, and steal some shit. Well, I want to give my new armor a red hot crack. Come on, here we go. And, yep, dodges. Ow! Oh, what? Seriously? You can't tell me that I dodged that so early, got all the way out of the way, and still didn't actually dodge him. But the nice thing is... Look at look at the difference that took. I mean, other times I've tried to dip, duck, dive, and dodge, and dodge, and didn't, uh, and lost all, like most of my health. But that time, oh, I got two bones out of that boy. He was a horny boy. He was 99% bone. But that time, I didn't do anything, and I still managed to get away with mo like, the clear majority of my health. That's so much better. No, no, I still died. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to have to kill myself and hopefully come back. I'm bleeding and losing health. I lost all my gubbins. Oh, for goodness sake. I was like, oh, yeah, this is fine. The first fight I got into, I only took, like, what, 2% like damage. Got into another fight, and he ruined me. Oh, give me the bones. Look at all those bones. I want them for my different adventures. Damn it. I mean, I don't, under, I don't understand the difference then. The hitboxing on the on the dodging is real skewy. It's like, you know, you dodge super early and the guy matrixes through the air and still swats you in the nose. But like, I don't understand how to, how to get out of the way then. Is there like a sweet spot for the timing? Every time I get into a fight now, the guys are just sticking their claws up my nostrils and pulling out again. I don't get it. I don't get what, I don't get what you want me to do there. What do you want me to do there? Excuse me, sir. Can I have my body back? You ripped and teared me a second ago. Is this how all the, like, the imps feel in Doom? I showed up and that guy absolutely ruined me. Although he's pretty low on health. Let's try it again. 
Nope, I completely missed. I completely missed our sweet jump attack. All right, never mind. Come over this way. There's also little fuzzy tadpoles down here that are very much like to meet your acquaintance. Come on, this way. This way. There you go. Just down the hill. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Look. Look at all these juicy Oompa Loompas you can eat. Come on. There you go. There you go. Om nom. Om nom, Tom. Look, I led you to a buffet. You should be my... Oh, stop. You should be my friend again. There we go. Good. All right. You guys have a nice little play date. I'm going to go up here. That's like... That's like a chicken pox party down there. Everyone's having a good time. Until they realize they're all just kind of ruling themselves. That's right, everybody needs to get chicken box eventually. Corpse, take all. I have all my gubbins back. Let's keep on going. Man, that's, I, I just I, I just, I just wish I understood you know, like the general mechanic of what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to block? Am I supposed to dive? Am I supposed to duck and dodge? I don't know what like the sweet spot of this is. And all I'm doing is getting myself murdered. Well, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I can see one of the things I need. I can see there's some of the samples, the void just there. But look how many Muppets there are in here. Look how many skeletal bastards are cruising around. And it's freezing freaking cold. Awesome. Well, I just put on clothes to cope with the desert heat. I'm not sure how it's going to cope with the like, Arctic frost. I'm not that high. Look, I'm the same altitude as the freaking hubbies. Why are you frozen? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Elza's in here, like, doing some magic or some shit. I'm just going to cruise around, try and run past as much as I can, and, ow, and grab what I need. Don't lag out on me now. Hyper hyperthermia. What do you mean? I'm going to... Oh, <laughs> would you fuck off with your bullshit game? Come on! So, apparently, I, uh, I'm not allowed to go up there, then. So... What was I supposed to make that was going to keep me cool then? Uh, plus four degrees. I don't want plus four. I want like negative, right? There's a little leather print from that. No, the leather's just straight up armor. What do you guys do? You guys don't actually do anything for me. All right, cool. Bananas. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I, what's supposed to be taken from frostbite then? All of this is just making me like, like be fine in the desert, but there's a mountain here I need to go through. A little like ice cavern that I apparently not allowed to go into. There's a bunch of monsters around. You know, I was gonna go back to the place I was in last time. Wasn't particularly great, but at least there was that whole like root system around the top that I could run and jump on. Keep me out of harm's way, and I wasn't freezing my nipples off. I'm not sure if this is the way you're supposed to do this, but it's the way I'm doing this. Just kind of like being a full mountain goat and running around on not even a lip, but it's fine. We just keep on going all the way around to where I need to be, which means I can avoid all of the creek beds, all of the mobs that lure in those swamps down there. I can just stay up here where I'm nice and safe, away from all threats of death. Not the way that's probably designed for me to go, but it's the way I'm going to go. I've got to work smarter, not harder. And this is just this is just very much more my speed. Okay, I've made it back to this place. Is there any more voids here for me? Yes, they are. They respawn. That's probably the best thing about this being a uh, like an MMO, like with everyone playing in the same world, is that some of the things that you need to spawn in the world. And even like, look, a little campfire shop here and there. So you can kind of get by without having to do everything yourself, which is really quite nice. How am I looking? I've got uh, full health. So let's go back down here. Uh, there's a void there and a void over there. Try and plan our route around here and try and avoid getting our sh the shit kicked out of us by old Matty Potato over there. Grab you. Is anyone coming for me? No, he's over there behind the reeds. Grab this one too. I think there's another one down here. I mean, I'm pretty happy just to kind of hang out just, just around here and wait till they all respawn. What do I need? I needed eight on me. That's five. I mean, I could do this in one more run, then go back home. It will be sweet. We'll be happy as Larry. I couldn't resist checking it out. Plus, I really like being my, my inner mountain goat self. This is like Goat Simulator, but a whole different way of doing it. Um, God, how big is this world? It's ridiculously big. There is some more stuff out there for me. I mean, I could kind of push up to that area there, which is right in front of me. But I assume if the places closer to the area where you spawn are that bloody terrible, I can't imagine venturing further out is going to be better for me like, and my attempts to keep all my organs generally inside my little yurt pelt. So probably not a great idea heading out there. I'm just... Ooh. No, it hasn't respawned. It's just like the blue tip of the tree. I'm just going to hang out here. And when those voids respawn again, I will go get them. And then head on home. And we'll finally, finally done the opening quest. So I've gone on a bit of an adventure. Just kind of get out of the area to let it all respawn. Is the whole place just Kavars and Yutz? Like, is, is the, I mean, I assume there's probably some like real big time enemies out there somewhere. But if the, like, is the whole world just Kavars and Yutz? It's all they ever seem to see. I don't know. I, uh, I assume with the world this expansion, there's got to be something I'm not finding yet. But I would have thought crossing into like this new area up here. I'm a fair distance away from like the main area. In fact, this is like the top corner of the map almost. Or not really the top corner, but like a, a decent way away from where I was. I would have thought I'd see some, you know, biodiversity out here. But it's all a bit samesies, you know? It seems like the genetic gene pool has been chlorinated to an extent. 
I'm dehydrated. Why am I dehydrated? What are you talking about? You got a flask. Take a sip, you clown. There we go. That did the trick. Leaving and coming back. Respawned all the voids. Let's quickly duck down here. There's one just there. Duck on through. Grab that one. Six. Uh oh, someone coming for me. Hop, skip it, and jump away. Seven. Out. No, get off. Up on the up on the log. There you go. All right, just chill out here for a second. So I need. I needed the eight. There's one there and another one. I mean, I could just grab nine and go back. Well, you reckon I'll get a bonus for coming back with extras? Like, you know, look, hey, look how many voids I found that definitely weren't all in the same place. All right, let's try this again. Drop one down. Oh, he's going to come for me. I can't run any faster than these idiots can. And I know that I can't actually avoid them swatting me in the back of the noggin. So I kind of was going to get lucky and, like, just jump around like a bunny rabbit that's drunk way too many battery acids. Just keep going. Just keep going. Up and out. Up and out. All right, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Oh, no, we're not. Ah, stop. Let's just get out of here. Head back to our stupid little crash ship cluster. And hopefully we don't have to get out here again. I hate it out here. You know what, though? While I'm out here... Oh, God, there's another one. While I'm out, I do need... Oh, my God, you ruined me. Oh, no, this is my stamina run again. I thought for a second he hit me so hard, I went into old school TV colors. Let's get out here. I do need to get myself some more practice or some practice pieces, which I use my pickaxe to get rather than the... um. Oh, come on, look, there's fuzzy little tadpoles, eat them. Rather than the knife, I'm very hurt and very sad and very sorry. Oh, God, please, 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 please just leave me alone. Leave me alone for just two seconds. There's some practice. All right, let's grab that and then get out of this godforsaken wasteland. Practice pieces. There we go, done. Ah, uh -huh, I'm leaving. So I needed the practice pieces for my yurt backpack. Still need six pressed thin leather for it, though, and three ropes. So I can make that. That's probably not too bad for me. In fact, can I make... Well, the extra three ropes now. One, two, three. Yes, I can. So I'll swing past the old massacre on the riverbanks just over the uh, over the ridge over here. Grab some more yacht skins. Take them home with me and make myself a yacht backpack. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. I definitely like to carry around some more gubbins. Given I die every three seconds, doesn't really matter. But I want to carry just a whole bunch of shit inside like a puffed up yacht skin. Here we go. Just let them do his thing. He wants to come over and swat the noses off all the little fuzzy tadpoles. And I'm okay just to let him do that. I'm just like, I'm complicit in a, what's effectively going to be a genocide just by standing here and actively encouraging it to happen. I'm not actually committing it, but I'm here. I'm equal parts to blame for this. This is just an atrocity. All right, he's, he's pissed off up the mountain though. Does any of you guys even die? Nope, but you're gonna go and you're gonna go pick another fight. All right, that's fine for me. I'll stay out here and watch. You guys just do you. There we go. There's a couple of deadlings around. I'll grab you and grab you. Are you gonna kill any more? I don't want them dying up here though, because it's hard for me to get. Plus, this is the um, this is the Kavars territory. So like the the Yorks might run away and leave me hanging. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Grab you. Finish him off. I'll grab you and I'll leave. Thank you very much. I have six pelts. How many did I need to make my leather? I don't really remember. I'll double check in a second when I'm not about to get eaten by that old douchebag up there. Yep, you, you're good on the cliff top. You're just doing the nice little sideways dance. Just start calling you a crab. Let's get out of here. It's good to be home at the harbor. I cannot take damage, nor do I get hungry or thirsty, which I'm very, 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 very thankful for. Let's quickly go see Trady Potato. Not Trady Potato, but Banky Potato. Let's grab you. Tissue samples. Boom. I have 11 of them. You are very welcome. Let's start. Actually, I don't really need that one right now, but whatever. I'll take it with me anyway. Let's go finally hand in this quest. Number samples to Road of the Engineer. He is up here. Mate, you'll never guess what I have for you. It took me lots and lots of deaths, but here you go. Boom. There you go. I brought you these void samples. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I'll send them to the lab. Man, I mean. You'd think he'd be a little bit more excited. You, know, he, I, you sent a guy who was wearing scrap pieces of clothing and a couple of sticks and stones out to go find uh, fight gigantic monsters. And he's come back in relatively one piece. He's just gone, cool beds, mate. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Cool bananas. All right, sick. Well, uh, do you need anything else? I don't really care about anything else. There's also need for thorium for the reactor. We're almost out of meat. Can you hunt? But remember the whole sticks and stones thing? Look at me. I'm dressed in the fuzzy skins of, of yurts. I can't do shit. With all these things died from getting eaten by other creatures. I'm just sat in a rock and watched them. So the next quest is to go and get 100 raw meat and 50 sarum meat. I don't know what a sarum is, but I assume it's going to be bad for me. Uh, it's probably going to have lots of teeth and claws and all sorts of bad things I don't want generally inside my body. Um... Yeah, but you know what? I just, I just don't have the time for that right now. What I do have time for, though, is to quickly duck upstairs, go and make myself a whole bunch of pressed leather, because I want to make myself a little fuzzy yacht backpack. There's a lot of, uh... 
a lot of us kind of sitting around waiting for stuff in this game, which is interesting. I mean, they've given you a hard time limit. So the seven days thing doesn't uh, only count down while you're in the game. That's like real time. So I haven't played this game for a couple of days. So I've now got like four days left before the rapture. And uh, I mean, I'm spending most of my time just sitting here waiting for shit to happen. You know, it's like, it's pretty grindy. Not only for resources, but also just for the time spent to make things. I get that it's going to take time to make things, but... Oh boy, this is a uh, this is a whole new level of it. Here we go, Yurt backpack. Make me one of those. Only five seconds. Thank God I got a bunch of flowers for it. Here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna stuff the ass end of a yurt with all of my gubbins. Come here. Where are you? I need. Wait. Where? Where? Where did the? Where did it go? Oh wait, it's in the bloody French, isn't it? Grab this thing. Doesn't go straight to my inventory, which is kind of annoying. Whatever. Grab that Yurt backpack. Boom. Wait. No, not boom. Can I have to take this one off and then? I... What? Okay, you go there. You go there. There we go. Okay, put my flask back up there. All right, we're cooking with gasoline now. Look at my sweet little yuk on my back. Look at my yuk pack. Ah, oh, it's so adorable. I mean, it took me a whole lot of murder to get it, but it's so good. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I wanted to come back and play some more of Population Zero because the first episode actually did really well for me. So, I mean, that's kind of the golden rule of YouTube. You know, you guys keep watching and I will keep making. So if you like this video, I'm not going to go and like, you know, say, oh, there's a like gold or spam the comments or all that kind of like garbage bullshit. You see a lot of people's like splurt out in all their videos. If you guys like the video, you know how to let me know. And if this as well then i will make another one it's um it's an interesting game it's not really my cup of tea i'm not gonna lie you know i'm not gonna tell you it's the beast tits when it's probably not the beast tits it's really grindy it's, it's it's time consuming it's hard i mean i'm running away from more fights than i'm actually going out and doing it myself i'm definitely not blazing any trails i'm definitely the cortez in this and not tulio and miguel i'm not blazing no trail through any jungle i'll follow up later with a whole army and take all the credit for it that's definitely more my style with this so yeah, I will play it more if you guys want to see it more. But I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. If I was playing this in my own time, I probably would have already dipped out of this. Just because just because it's so, like, it's just so annoying to try and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. It's so hard to try and figure out how to do the next quest. But... That said, if you guys liked it, I'll come back and play some more Population Zero in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.